These days, more and more people are winning the battle against cancer. But that battle can come with collateral damage, especially to a patient's balance and walking. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez says that dancing can help in the form of a tango. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Christine. Specifically, Argentine tango, which is more varied in its music and styles than ballroom tango, a tango, or, or so I'm told anyway. It seems that Argentine tango lends itself to improving the gait imbalance that can be impaired when chemotherapy damages nerves in the legs and feet. Tim Hickey never considered himself much of a dancer, but after spending a few weeks in a program for cancer patients, he surprised even himself. Today, Tim's doing the tango, but not long ago, he could barely walk. The only thing I could feel with my feet was the balls. I couldn't feel the toes, couldn't feel the heels. That's not uncommon. Tim had Hodgkin's lymphoma, and the chemotherapy used to wipe out his cancer also damaged nerves in his legs and feet. When you lose sensation um, or, or activity in those nerves, it can affect the feedback that your system gets so that your system isn't able to control its balance quite as well. Computer analysis shows how loss of feeling in legs and feet can impact a patient's ability to stand and walk. So researchers at the Ohio State University Comprehensive Cancer Center teamed up with Mimi Lamantia. As a pre-med student, she saw how patients struggled with things like balance and sway. As a dance major, she came up with a way to help by teaching them to tango. Even just five weeks of Argentine tango, we were able to decrease that medial and lateral sway by 56%. When it comes to nerve damage in hands and feet or neuropathy from chemo, nearly 70% of patients are affected one month after treatment. Nearly one in three still have it after six months, leading many patients to undergo physical therapy, something Tim dreaded until therapy turned into dancing. Then he began to look forward to each and every step he took toward recovery. The improvement was, was remarkable. And I don't think we would have improved nearly that quickly without it. Now, in addition to nerve damage, many cancer patients also experience muscle loss. Doing the tangle also rebuilds leg muscles and increases stamina, which also helps to improve their balance. The research was funded by Pelotonia, a bike ride that's raised over $100 million for cancer research. So who knew you could dance your way to better health like that? Huh? <laughs> Let's get well, dancing. Know what? I bet. That kind of dancing, you have to have a lot of coordination. Exactly. It's not easy. Exactly. That's why, you know, I'm, I hear that it's good for you. But I'm not sure that <laughs> I'll I know. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I'm not sure that I know for sure. Thank you, doctor. Yeah. All right. This important.